Hi, Sarah. How are you? Hello. Hello. I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm good, thank you. So, uh, firstly, <laughs> I have to say congratulations on winning the national final. Uh, how has life been since you have won? <laughs> um, crazy, I think, is a word which describes it perfectly. I mean, obviously, um, very hectic. Um, we have been obviously now working uh, non-stop to give the best possible performance in Malmo. Um, uh, but yeah, it's been it's been crazy, I guess, but very exciting and rewarding as well. the viewers and readers who don't know who you are yet would you like to introduce yourself a bit more and tell us about your story yes so um i am sarah <laughs> i think we've established that um yeah. and obviously i'm from malta and i will be representing representing malta um next may in malmo um uh, i am a very basic young um, Maltese girl. I'm actually from Gozo, the sister island of Malta. Um, and obviously I've been singing for quite a while now. And I took part in Junior Eurovision as well. And I did, um, yes, I took part in the Malta Junior Eurovision. I came third and then also um, represented Malta with the local delegation as a backup singer and dancer in the Junior Eurovision in Belarus. Um, I also did the Eurovision before in Malta and made it to the finals. And now I took part again and I won with the song Loop, which will obviously be representing Malta now in May in, in Malmo. Um, uh, that's it basically about me, obviously. Um, I am a singer songwriter and a pianist as well. And that is my full time job apart from Eurovision. <laughs> Now, you will be performing the song Loop at Eurovision this year. Uh, can you tell us more about the song and what it's about? Yes. So Loop is, uh, the style of the song is like pop reggaeton. Um, um, the, the song, the lyrics speak about these two individuals um, who are madly in love with each other and who are stuck in this loop basically and they cannot get out of this this loop this sort of web of of love uh, i wrote the song myself alongside with a group alongside a group of songwriters um who are lay uh, atticus joy deb linnea deb uh, mickey mago kevin lee um and matthew james borch and uh, yeah that's it basically and we will be obviously um, performing the song now in, uh, in May on the Eurovision stage. Uh, what was your initial reaction when you found out that you would be representing Malta at Eurovision this year? <laughs> um, honestly, I was completely shocked and I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Uh, throughout the, the journey of the Malta Eurovision, I was never one of the, one of the favourites to win the contest so it really took me by surprise obviously but um, obviously I was very very happy and very grateful for the opportunity that you know I was given. Moving on from that I'd like to know uh, what artists inspired you and whose career do you look up to the most? So there are a number of artists which obviously inspire inspire me. I mean, from a very, very young age, I always um, loved Jennifer Lopez and her style of music. And I think um, this can also be reflected in uh, Loop, in the song, which I will be yeah. representing Volta with. Um, not only I love Beyonce and I'm uh, hugely influenced and inspired inspired by, by Beyonce. And currently I'm also obsessed by Dua Lipa. I like the direction she's heading and I think she's doing great things. So I think those are three artists which um, who really inspire me and who I look up to. Uh, one thing that I really admired about your performance is the choreography. Now, are you going to keep this choreography for the Eurovision Song Contest stage or could we expect to see something different? 
Um, obviously, there will be changes because um, you know we want to try to deliver the best possible product. So we yeah. will be changing some some stuff and tweaking a bit to try, as I said, deliver the best possible product. But there will be similarities and there will be differences and there will be choreography, obviously. Now, the reaction that you got from the revamp, has this been very positive and how does it feel to see these amazing comments and reactions to your song? I think the feedback overall has been very positive. I am not one to read so many comments, to be honest. I try to limit myself from reading too many comments because I believe that if you read, if the comments are very good, then they will yeah. um, like inflate inflate your self-esteem. And if they're like all too bad, they will make you feel too bad about yourself. So I try to limit myself, focus on the constructive criticism because I believe that is very important because yeah. No one is perfect and there's always room for improvement. So, you know, we strive to to, uh, to to give the best possible performance. So constructive criticism is always very important. But I do not go into, into so much detail when it comes to comments. Having said so, I did read a few and it seems that the general feedback on the revamp is a positive one. So I am quite glad, to be honest. <laughs> I know you just briefly mentioned about junior Eurovision. Now, this isn't your first time that you've uh, attempted to go to Eurovision. Uh, and as you've said, you competed in the national final in 2022 in Eurovision. Is this something that you've always wanted to do? Yes, ever since I was little, uh, I always watched Eurovision. And as a family, we always used to watch Eurovision. And it was always like the annual family event. So it was always my dream to to go to Eurovision. I, I always, you know, imagine myself myself being there. So, so yes. And finally, I'm very grateful that I'm having this opportunity now. Uh, what was your earliest memory of the Eurovision Song Contest? I mean, I don't have one specific memory which I say I think that's the earliest one because as I told you I remember watching Eurovision since forever yeah. we always watched Eurovision we we're always fans at home but a particular uh, memory which remains like um, imprinted in my in my head is um, Helena Paparitsu's winning moment and performance um, I recall when I saw her performance I I, I loved it, obviously, and I said, one day I want to be like her on that stage. And uh, and I used to at home sing her song and pretend to be her, imagine myself being on that stage. And sort of that sort of triggered this dream to, to you know, one day um, make it to Eurovision. And it happened. <laughs> uh, so what part of the Eurovision experience are you most looking forward to? Hmm, tricky question because I'm looking forward to many things. I think though the most uh, sort of exciting part for me would be the going on stage and you know performing my heart out because ultimately this is why I'm doing it and you know to go there perform for the passion and love I have for music. So yeah, I think that's it. Me as a first time viewer going to Eurovision, a uh, what do you think I would enjoy the most out of this mm. whole experience? As a viewer, I don't know. I think I think definitely um, all artists are very, 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 um, are working very, very hard and preparing as much as possible uh, to give the best possible performance. So I think as a viewer, um, you're in for a great show. So I think that's that's the most exciting part, you know, going there enjoying the vibe the atmosphere um in the arena and uh, enjoying the the whole show you know i think that's that's the most exciting part as a viewer now finally what would it mean to you if people voted for you and your song and what would it mean to you obviously it would it would mean a lot um at the end of the day uh, it all boils down to uh, to people's votes so every every vote is is important for me and like for all the contestants and uh, not just the votes but even the support of people i mean seeing people supporting you and voting for you means a lot for the artists not just because they can make it through um so because of the result but even even um like emotionally it it helps so much it means a lot to the artists to be 
you know, to feel supported and uh, to actually be supported. So it means the world to me. It means the world to me for people to support and vote. Thank you very much for that. And uh, thank you for joining me today. It's been a, a wonderful pleasure and good luck at the semi-finals. And I, I hope mm -hmm. you do fantastic. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure um, talking to you. And thank you so, 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 so much.